The Man Born Blind As Jesus walked along, he saw a man who had been blind since birth. Jesus' disciples asked, Teacher, why was this man born blind? Was it because he or his parents sinned? <laughs> no, it wasn't. But because of his blindness, you'll see God work a miracle for him. As long as it's day, we must do what the one who sent me wants me to do. When night comes, no one can work. While I'm in the world, I'm the light for the world. After Jesus said this, he spat on the ground, made some mud, and smeared it on the man's eyes. Go wash off the mud in the Siloam pool. The man went and washed in Siloam, which means one who is sent. When he had washed off the mud, he could see. The man's neighbours and the people who had seen him begging wondered if he really could be the same man. Some of them said that he was the same beggar, while others said he only looked like him. But he told them, I am that man. Then how can you see? Someone named Jesus made some mud and smeared it on my eyes. He told me to go and wash it off in Siloam Pool. When I did, I could see. Where's he now? I don't know. The day when Jesus made the mud and healed the man was a Sabbath. So the people took the man to the Pharisees. They asked him how he was able to see, and he answered, Jesus made some mud and smeared it on my eyes. Then after I washed it off, I could see. This man Jesus doesn't come from God. If he did, he wouldn't break the law of the Sabbath. How could someone who is a sinner work such a miracle? Since the Pharisees couldn't agree among themselves, they asked the man, What do you say about the one who healed your eyes? He's a prophet. But the Jewish leaders would not believe that the man had once been blind. They sent for his parents and asked them, Is this the son that you said was born blind? I mean, how can he now see? Oh, sir, we are certain that he is our son, and we know that he was born blind. But uh, we don't know how he got his sight or who gave it to him. Ask him. He is old enough to speak for himself. The man's parents said this because they were afraid of their leaders. The leaders had already agreed that no one was to have anything to do with anyone who said Jesus was the Messiah. The leaders called the man back and said, Swear by God to tell the truth. We know that Jesus is a sinner. I don't know if he is a sinner or not. All I know is that I used to be blind, but now I can see. What did he do to you? How did he heal your eyes? I have already told you once, and you refuse to listen. Why do you want me to tell you again? <laughs> do you also want to become his disciples? The leaders insulted the man and said, You're his follower. We are the followers of Moses. We are sure God spoke to Moses, but we don't even know where this Jesus comes from. How strange! He healed my eyes, and yet you don't know where he comes from. We know that God listens only to people who love and obey him. God doesn't listen to sinners. And this is the first time in history anyone has ever given sight to someone born blind. Jesus couldn't do anything unless he came from God. You have been a sinner since the day you were born. Do you think you can teach us anything? You can never come back to any of our synagogues. When Jesus heard what had happened, he went and found the man. Do you have faith in the Son of Man? Sir, if you tell me who he is, I'll put my faith in him. <laughs> you have already seen him, and right now he is talking with you. Lord, I put my faith in you. 
Then he worshipped Jesus. I came to judge the people of this world. I am here to give sight to the blind and to make blind everyone who can see. When the Pharisees heard Jesus say this, they asked, Are we blind? If you were blind, you would not be guilty. But now that you claim to see, you will keep on being guilty.